Hey everybody, it's that loudmouth fat guy again. Well, let me tell you, there is a clear and present danger to the liberties of Tennessee residents. And I found about it by the hard way, because I'm going through it. Now, you may not think, oh, this couldn't happen to you. Let's say a spouse... You know, you're going through a divorce or something. They said, uh, you know, told the police, go pick him up because I think she's going to commit suicide or he's going to commit suicide. Guess what? Police pick you up, take you to the the emergency room. You get smart off to the doctor because you're mad. They put you in for observation. You spend your three days in there, three or four days in for observation. They turn you loose because there's nothing wrong with you. You're innocent. Not in Tennessee. No, sir. You are guilty for the rest of your life. They will report it to the federal Insta-check system. You will not get a security job. You will lose your Second Amendment rights. In Tennessee, they got a, 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 a firearms freedom thing, too. You lose your ten under the Tennessee Constitution. Uh, if you're a farmer, basically that means if there's a, a vermin killing your livestock, you can't own guns, so you can't defend your livestock. You can't. You lose the right to self-defense. You won't get a job in the schools. Uh, you can't do volunteer work anymore, even if you're found not guilty. Well, basically it's not, not guilty because you were never charged with anything. So it's not a criminal thing. It's an administrative uh, thing that Tennessee allows to happen under the guise of mental health. Now, they don't wait till you know, you're adjudicated to say that, well, yeah, something's wrong with him. He's a nut. No. Just being put in for observation makes you a mental defective in Tennessee. If the police have to come at, so, so parents, if one of your teenagers is going to commit suicide, think about that. In Tennessee, if you call the cops to come get him to save his life, you ruin his life for the rest of his life. Even if he's cured, you know, I mean, a teenager, this could happen. And, you know, they grow out of it, you know, they might have girl problems and think, oh, I want to die and all like that. And, you know, they'll grow out of it. But this stays in their administrative record for the rest of their lives. So by getting them help, you destroy their lives in Tennessee. This is wrong. Now, some people say, well, I brought it on myself by arguing with the doctor about suicide for being a smart aleck. Well, maybe so. But this can happen to anybody, and, and the way that it is written in the Tennessee laws, it needs to be challenged in court. Now, I've been considering going get a local attorney just to get my stuff straightened up, but I would rather, let's, get, let's take this, if we have to take it to federal court and get this whole fiasco thrown out is unjust. This is an unjust set of laws to everybody in the state of Tennessee. That's why I titled this video A Clear and Present Danger to the Liberties of Tennessee Residents. Now below where you know there's a link down below that says click for more info or you know to expand. Uh, I've written it out a little bit more and I put links. I My donate to my legal fund link is there and I appreciate all the help but when I talk to lawyers and they say, well, I charge $200 an hour, I charge $400 an hour, I get $300 an hour, the amount that I would normally think of being a large amount is really not that much. So, I'm going to ask you to do something else. And it won't cost anything. It will cost time. Send a link of this video to the NRA and the GOA. I put links down there to them. If just one person says about it, they don't take too much notice. But if if we can get everybody 
to to hey NRA get off your dead butt. This is so, and check your state laws too. This may be something that needs to be fixed nationwide. I mean, if other states are allowed to do this, it's wrong. I mean, they they should at the very least allow allow for you to go to in in front of a a jury or a judge, and then you be committed. In other words, you in other words you are mentally ill now. You know, if somebody is running around eating poo and and doing stuff like that, you know, well, yeah, they got mental problems. Now, I people say I'm crazy, but it's a political crazy, not a mental crazy. Do I have physical problems? Yes. Yes, I live in pain all the time. But that's a physical problem. Okay? So you Tennesseans, if you don't think this can, this this happens to other people. This has happened to other people, and it needs to be fought. And I'm willing to draw a line in the sand. I need, I need some attorneys to get on board with this. This needs to be fought on principle. Hey, I'm in the middle of it. You can use my case as a uh, springboard. Uh, you know, it's physically affecting me. It is affecting my farming. You know, if I could lose animals because I can't, you know, uh, shoot the coyotes, can't have guns. Um, and being that I'm on National Geographic now, and well, before National Geographic, you know, the death threats I get off of uh, YouTube, I, I save some of them. So, you know, they're telling me I have no way to defend myself anymore. You know, I'm crippled up. Can't very well fight very good. I've got one. I mean, I can throw a punch with one hand. i got one good hand. But, uh, th yeah, this is, this is just something that can happen to anybody in this state, and you have no, no way to uh, expunge an administrative record. Even though you're not guilty, you're found to be okay, and it still follows you, that that's insanity. That is the thing of insanity. So, like I say, down below, I appreciate the, the monies, but I don't think it's going to be enough without getting the uh, NRA and the GOA involved. I am sending them this message, but if all of you send the message, especially members, if you're members of the NRA and you're members of the GOA, send it. And if you're members of the Tennessee Firearms Association, you definitely need to get on John Harris because I talked to him about it and he wasn't enthused at all. He says, yeah, well, we hand I handle cases like that, but I get $300 an hour and it's $1,500 up front. Though I've been hunting for a local attorney, but I mean, I'd really love to get the doctor that, that put me into this, this the, the ones. I even had a doctor. Get this. I mentioned that I knew my state senator, Senator Beavers, and that was one of the things he listed as why I needed, I was nuts. He, he listed, uh, well, he has a delusion of knowing uh, the Senator Beavers, you know, and he didn't even know who the senator was. But uh, he was, uh, yeah, I've got the paper. You know, I was looking through the doctor's notes, and uh, one of the reasons for me getting more... <laughs> Uh, the thing was because I mentioned the senator's name. Because I, I, I've i known her for, you know, 12 years. I've helped her with her campaigns. And I said, if you need a, a reference, call her. And like he never called. He, he wrote it down as me being a, a cuckoo, cuckoo, because I mentioned that uh, senator's name. Uh, you know, go figure. <laughs> uh, that's, how, that's how ludicrous this is. Okay. So, I guess that's all I got to say. I mean, I've done sit here and rattled on for 10 minutes. If you haven't got the gist of it by now, uh, like I say, if you live in the state of Tennessee and you think this is okay, uh, don't write. But if you think this is an outrage that there's no way for an innocent person, I mean, if you're innocent, it's not if you're guilty. If you're innocent, you still get treated as guilty. Your rights are still taken away. You, your, your future and certain jobs 
are, are no more you, you because this record will follow you. I mean, once it's put in the FBI system, it's nationwide. I couldn't go to Wyoming now and purchase a firearm. I could move and, and, and become a resident of Texas, and I couldn't purchase it because it's in the FBI database, all because of Tennessee's unjust law. So uh, I'm going to leave you all with that.